says, no, 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 no recording. And I say, I'm just recording the board. And here's the flop. Nice. I'm not filming you. Bacon, eggs, peppers, salt, pepper, chalula. All right, today is June 30th. All I know is that since we made day two of the $600 PLO Mystery Bounty at MGM yesterday, we're gonna have to adjust our schedule slightly and focus more on one day events with the exception of the Colossus. I can play the Colossus today after the Aria if needed. Max late reg till 8.15, so I could pull a bet on Drew except I have all my own action, so it's all on me. And double bag and tag, build or punt the Colossus, then go to MGM for the PLO day two as well, where I'm gonna have, you know, around 15 blinds or so. Slight EV loss, but maximum EV gain in possibilities for the ACR 100K competition. Let's get it. <laughs> stack from 30k starting everybody at the table seems to know me like I'm a celebrity of some sort so the conversation is inquisitive and lighthearted times going by quickly even though I'm not winning any pots with the 1200 big blind folds me in the cutoff I look down at pocket tens make it 2500 to go action folds to the button who his tank folded to my opens a few times this time he quickly three bets to 6,500 off a 45K stack. Folds back to us with 23.3 thousand. And you know we're putting in that four bet. All in for 20 bigs, pocket tens. He goes deep into the tank. Fold your ace jack. Fold your king queen. He eventually calls with ace four of clubs. Let's keep it clean, dealer. He flops, trips, the miracle. We have two outs. The boat And there it is. The boat ski on the turn and we get the full double. 50,000 chips. About 30 minutes from break time and max late reg finale. Middle position, look down at Alan Jackson, make it 2,500 to go at 1,200 big blind. Holds the button, who shoves all in for 18.5 thousand, 15 bigs. Back to us, what do you do with Ace Jack? We're here to gamble. I put in the call and we see the good news, which is Ace 8. Let's hold. For the 1200 big blind ante, late position opens. It's your stereotypical live grinder. The way he looks up at the clock, the way he shuffles his chips. He's got a Fiji, he's got a Perrier, he's getting a massage, he's got the tablet, he's got a toothpick, you know the type. Opens to 2500, I saw him 3X pocket kings earlier, so maybe the smaller size and weaker hand. Small blind calls, we're in the big blind with queen jack off. Of course, calling's fine, but a three bet might be better. We make it 10,000 to go. Original Razor calls and the small blind folds. We're off to see a flop of nine, seven, three, two spades. We don't have a spade. Check folding doesn't seem too fun. So let's take a stab, see if we can get the job done. That rhymes. 10,000 on the flop is the bet. He quickly shoves 60,000 in the middle and we snap fold. Onto the next hand. The very last hand before first break of Max late entry. Folds me in the hijack. I go ahead and open up a loose holding. The 9-8 offsuit. You can make some straights. Button calls and big blind comes along for the ride. We see the ace, jack, five, two hearts, one club flop. We don't have either. But when it checks to us, we gotta rep this ace. I bet 4,000, button folds and big blind stands up says he just subscribed to my vlog and puts in the quick call i'm not really reading this as strength so let's see if we can barrel him off his 
Jack X straight draw or weak ace X holding. Turns an eight of clubs, two flush draws out there, and we picked up a pair, which has some value. Uh, he checks, and I think we're gonna stick with the plan. Try to get him fold out, jack X, and ace bad kickers, and possibly even charge draws that do not have a pair in them. So when I bet 9,000, he quickly calls again. The river's a offsuit 10. He checks, and we have a decision to make. Do we have showdown value? If I'm going to bluff, how much do I bet? I think my stack is a pot size bet. I have about 35,000 behind. My reasoning is if I shove here and he calls, then I can just rebuy and get another 30,000. It's perfect timing. So it's kind of a free roll minus the $600 loss. But is he going to fold an ace? Is he going to fold a jack here? There's only one way to find out, and we check back. We chicken out. He proudly shows the jack four of clubs, the Robbie suited. And it's good. Congratulations. You want a huge pot off me when I'm guessing my shove would have worked. And we're on break with 35,000. Much regret. Dog vlog. All right, we're in for one bullet, no more re-entries, and folds to the cutoff. Same guy with the double water, toothpick, slow motion, chip dance combo. Makes it 3,000 to go. Folds to me in the big blind, I look down at the Ochos. 33,000 in my stack approximately, so great spot to re-steal. I shove all in. He asks, why so much? I tell him I need all the chips and he tries to give us all the chips he puts in the call and shows pocket fives 80 percent chance of the pure double let's hold but first when i start recording he says no no, no don't record me i inform him that i'm not going to record his face at all he says no nah, no nah, no no recording and i say i'm just recording the board and here's the flop nice. i'm not filming you Oh, you did it to me. Real dirty. Until the king hits the river. Mm. Nice hand. After he spikes his set, some words were exchanged. And we are out of the Aria. 600, one bullet and done. A few hours of play. Should we go play the Colossus or call it a day? Stay tuned to find out. And we are out.